on Candleton Doubles. Hi everyone, I'm Brian Leary. We've got a tough act to follow. Great match last week. Our new champs were able to knock off John Miller and Jeff Atkins, who had been champs for four consecutive weeks. It came down to the last box. In fact, it came down to spare fills in the last box. And Dick Allen and Al Nelson won it by a pin. And in doing so, picked up $500, and that's what they'll be shooting for this week as well. $300 goes to the runners-up. Any combination of three marks in a row is worth $50 in bonus money. Three strikes in a row is worth $1,000. They almost got that. And a two-string total of 275 or more will pay off an extra $200. So let's see if these new champs can repeat right now. Dick Allen will start for the champs. And Mike Morgan for the challengers. Dick from Portland, Maine. He's married with three children. He carries a 120 average with a high single of 189 and a high triple of 486. Opens with a spare. Mike Morgan now. Mike. Buried with one son. He has a 125 average. And he opens with a 10. Dick on the spare. Good bid, but one pin shy. And a nine, 24 through the first couple. Mike Morgan was a 1978 live show champion. Six pin spread right now. Challenger still looking for their first mark. The three, seven, eight, nine, and ten. With some wood that could make this go a little bit quicker than it would appear. shot. Well, they moved the seven. He didn't take it down. And there's the 10 box. The champs lead it by five, 33 to 28 through the first three. Identical shots. Okay, 
And a 7.40 for Dick Allen. The 10 for Mike Morgan in 38. So the lead is now two at 40 to 38. These bowlers will bowl one more frame and then we'll take a break. And their partners will come up to finish off the opening string. Mike Morgan still looking for a mark. Mike takes a 10, so that's three straight 10s. Went through the first five without a mark, but it doesn't really matter. Even though the champs get a mark, they wind up falling behind by a couple. We'll take a break now, and here's the score for our challengers, Mike Morgan and Tom Morgan, 48. And for our defending champs, Dick Allen and Al Nelson, 46. Here we go with the second half of the opening string. Al Nelson. And Tom Morgan. Al with a clutch spare in the final box last week. In order to beat John Miller and Jeff Atkins by a pin. And a couple of tens. So the challenger still holding on by a couple. remind you that coming up May 8th and May 15th we'll be taping some special edition shows of Candleton doubles the NBA state finals on May 8th at Pilgrim Lanes and Haverhill we'll be taping men's and women's doubles and mixed doubles finals and then on May 15th also at Pilgrim Lanes and Haverhill we'll be taping the men's and women's singles and the men's and women's all events shows that's May 8th in May 15th and we'd love to have you join us. That's at Pilgrim Lanes in Haverhill. Be there in person to see the state champions crowned. Still without a mark. Four pin lead for the challengers at seventy eight to seventy four. strike in the ninth.
Challengers lead it by a pin, but Al will change that with this ball. And the Challengers now lead by at least six. Al looking to spare on the strike. No. Tom Morgan for the Challengers first mark. Finally in the tenth it comes. And so the Challengers may yet hit triple digits. Al Nace Nelson with a 10 takes a seat 103. And Tom punches out four so it'll be one pin shy of triple digits An opening 99. That's the bad news. The good news is it's only four pins behind what the champs have. After one, our defending champs, Dick Allen and Al Nelson, 103, and our challengers, Mike and Tom Morgan, 99. Mike Morgan will start off the second string for the challengers. Mike and Tom Morgan down by four. And Dick Allen for the champs. Nice 10, and Dick with an 8. So the lead's down to 2. Mike after the five and ten. And Dick after the one, seven and ten, and there it goes. A little wood to help. A spare in the second. Gallon working on a spare now. Seven. Despite their individual successes, Mike and Tom Morgan, even though they've teamed up before in the state doubles championship, have never won it and runners up once. As we mentioned, Mike was the 1978 live show champion. Tom was the runner up in 1984. And they last teamed up on this show about four years ago. In and out, as they said. They lost their first match. They're hoping to do a little bit better this time around, but they'll have to hustle. Mike after his first mark and he gets it. The gallon with the one and ten and some help and he gets it.
53 through four for the champs, 44 through four for the challengers. So the champs have a 13 pin lead now with just six boxes remaining. And he knocks off the three pin for another mark. So Mike Morgan takes a seat. It's up to Tom to finish up with a flourish. Down at this point by, you see it's 63 to 54 here in this one. 13 pins overall, plus however many Al Nelson knocks down in his first ball. On the spare, nine. So the lead is 22 with five to go. Tom Morgan spares. But two in a row, yes. Morgan has a high single of 192, a 125 average. He adds seven to the spare. Al Nelson, a firefighter from Augusta, Maine. Another nine drop. Mm. And that hurts. This for four in a row. Oh, $100 in bonus money so far for Al Nelson and Dick Allen. Tom Morgan with the open frame, nine and 80. So it's a 21 pin lead here, 25 overall in the match. Working on the spare. <clears throat> Only a couple. Now Morgan spares. And a seven box. So one ten. For the champs through eight, 90 plus a bonus ball for the challengers. Champs lead it by 24, minus this bonus ball. Only a couple, 22, that's the lead. And Tom Morgan needs all of these to have a chance. Well, he got them. The challengers are at 102 plus. The lead is 21 pins. And that hurts. So the lead is 15 pins with one box to go. And that wraps it up. Fair. He gets him some bonus money, but it won't get him the match. Al Nelson finishes up with a 10 and a 129. A little off the 250 plus of a week ago, but it's enough. 232 to finish. Tom Morgan will fill out the spare. With seven. 
And a good strong second string of 125, but it comes on the heels of an opening 99, so it's not enough. And our champs do it again. We'll take a look at the totals. Four are now two-time champions for Maine, Dick Allen and Al Nelson, a 232. And for our runners up from Lynn, Mike Morgan and Tom Morgan, 224. Okay, our champs do it again, Dick Allen and Al Nelson. So we'll say goodbye to these guys, Mike Morgan and Tom Morgan. We have $50 in bonus money for you, 300 bucks for coming by. And uh, you said at the beginning, last time you were here three or four years ago, you're in and out in a half hour. We made it a little quicker this time, huh? Same story. My ball wasn't doing anything. I dug a hole for Tom that he couldn't get out of. Eh, maybe next time. Well, we know you guys can bowl better than that, so hopefully that'll happen the next time. Yeah, hopefully we'll be back to pull that. <laughs> Tom Morgan and Mike Morgan, thanks very much. And now our champs, Dick Allen and Alan Nelson, two in a row, a little easier this time, wasn't it? Uh, well, I don't think it was easy. We uh, didn't really bowl that well. We were lucky that they wasn't hot, and they could have blown us right out of here. But... All right, well, maybe you can get hot again next week, okay? I hope so. All right, we have $500 for you for winning, $100 in bonus money, 600 total, and an opportunity to come back next week and take on Steve Hodge and Don Richmond. Now, for everyone here at Fairway Sports World and Etic, have a good afternoon.